Okay guys, I welcome you all to Ingenious Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a hockey puck is traveling to the left with a velocity of 10 meter per second, that is the initial velocity, in this direction. And when it is struck by a hockey stick and given a velocity of V2, that is 20 meter per second, is shown. Determine the magnitude of the net impulse exerted by the hockey stick on the puck. The puck has a mass of 0.2 kg. So we have to find the total impulse that is transferred to the puck by this hockey head. So again we have to use the principle of impulse and momentum. This is the principle of impulse and momentum which says that the initial momentum plus the impulse that will be equal to the final momentum of the puck. So, and it says that the summation of all the impulses, so this is the net impulse, right? So, we can replace this term by net impulse. I will write this as mv1 vector. I am considering this as a vector addition, right? Since all these are vectors. So, this is M, mv1. This is i net, which is required. And this is mv2. And similarly, we can write that i net. is equal to mv2 minus mv1 and since the mass is scalar we can take it common that is m this is v2 vector minus v1 vector so that will give us the i net and this will give us the impulse vector remember if this is the vector subtraction so this will give us the the net impulse vector now we have to find v2 vector and v1 vector. So let's say that uh, this is my x-axis is that is from the puck. This is my x-axis is and this is my y-axis is. So now as we can see that that v1 is acting in the negative x. So I can write v1 vector. v1 vector is 10 in the negative i. And there is no component in the y direction, so that is 0, it's here. And similarly, we can write v2, we can resolve that v2 along the x and y axis, so it will have two components, that is, uh, this is the v2x component, which is 20 cos of 40, and we will have one another component, that is sine component. So this is acting in the positive uh, x direction, that is in the positive i. So let me find 20 cos of 40. 20 cos of 40 is 15.32 so 15.32 in the positive i and then uh, the sine component so that is 20 this is 20 sine of uh, 40 so 20 sine of 40 so this is 12.855 or we can say that this is 12.86 and that is acting in the positive y so plus 12.86 j so now we can find we can use this equation to find that net impulse which is transferred by the hockey to the puck so that is i net mass is 0 0.2 kgs and v2 this is v2 that is 15.32i plus 12.86j minus v1 so v1 is minus 10i plus 0j and if i multiply this minus sign inside so that will become uh, plus this is 0 0.2 this is 15.32i plus 12.86j plus 10i. Now if we add this i component with i, so we will have uh, 0 0.2. And 15.32 plus 10 is 25.32. This is 25.32i plus 12.86j. So if you multiply this 0.2 inside, so that will be 25.32 into 25.32 into 0 0.2. This gives us 5.064, 5.064i 
plus 0.2 into this component magnitude so that is 12.86 multiplied by 0.2 this gives us 2.57 so that is 2.572 j this is the net impulse vector if you want to find its magnitude we can find its magnitude i net magnitude is 5.064 square plus 2.572 square and then we will take the square root so 5.064 square plus 2.572 square and this gives us 5.68 so 5.68 newton second so this is the net impulse which is uh, transferred to the puck by the hockey so this is the required answer of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hitler dynamics